So if you haven't figured it out yet, we're doing another distance to empty challenge. Stay tuned. <laughs> So in today's challenge, we are in the 2012 Chrysler 200, and now this vehicle has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. And we're hoping that this thing gives us probably somewhere around 32, 33 miles per gallon. We don't exactly know when the distance empty starts calculating, other than the fact that once it reaches approximately 50 kilometers to empty, the low fuel light comes on. So just as we were pulling around from the gas pump, the low fuel light came on. So as of right now, I've reset the trip and we're getting ready to hit the highway. So let's do it. actually finding a vehicle that doesn't have a whole lot of gas in it. I went out to the shop early this morning before I went to church to find a vehicle that you know was getting down there on fuel and this Chrysler 200 was the sixth vehicle that I had to go grab the keys for to unlock, start up and check the fuel. Everything else had about a half a tank and I wasn't willing to drive for two or three hundred kilometers today just to do this challenge. So when I got in it was reading about 58 kilometers to empty and so from there I got it started up and we went to church, come back and had some lunch and now we're on the road. Today I've got some company. My wife's going to be my camera person today and uh, help me get some of uh, these extra shots that we get when we're doing this. So cue the music. Much like every episode, I had put the challenge out there on Instagram for you guys to guess how many kilometers to empty and, well, of course we're doing that again. And uh, so we want to see who comes the closest in kilometers, I will convert it to miles, so if you want to guess in miles, that's fine, on how far we will be going. Having said that, because I got my wife here, her and I are going to have a little bit of a challenge today and guess who can be closest. So what do you think? How many kilometers do you think we're gonna go on this challenge? Uh, I'm gonna say 33. So she's saying 33. I'm gonna stretch it a little bit more and I'm gonna say 63. So quite a gap there. We'll see who wins. So as it sits right now, we uh, since we started this, we left the Irving uh, right at the beginning of exit 9. So we are about ready to approach the St. Andrews turnoff, which means we are about 12.5 uh, kilometers in to this little journey. So. seven kilometers into this trip and I figured it is such a great day to go for a drive that's why I invited my wife this time and we are supposed to be getting some weather later on tonight so I figured let's get this done early if you recall in the last distance to empty challenge and I'll put that link right up here in the description and you guys can go watch that but it got dark on me and I did not anticipate that the vehicle was going to last as long as it did so I figure we'll get this one done early and we don't have to worry about the darkness. Just weather. And that's not supposed to happen until later on this afternoon. Playing 
Cool play on repeat. So right now we are at 22.1 kilometers into this little trip. So nothing new has happened. Everything's working fine. And uh, now would probably be a good time to insert a promo on a Thursday evening live stream that myself and Straight Six Fan, another YouTuber, his name is Grant, that we do and we alternate channels each week. So last Thursday was on my channel and tonight it will be on his channel. So I will put a link right here in the cards as well as in the description so you guys can go over to his channel and uh, subscribe and that way you can get notifications when the live stream starts. It happens at 9 o'clock Atlantic time which is 8 o'clock Eastern or 7 o'clock Central. And if you're further west, just keep just keep uh, taking an hour away from that and uh, you'll do fine. So basically what this uh, live feed is about is we call it a subscriber hangout. So basically anybody that subscribes to us uh, can come hang out and uh, we talk about cars, we talk about YouTube channel struggles and we give updates on, uh, on our channels and, and some of the things that we're doing and things that are happening in the future. And at the very end of each show, we will actually give a shout out to a smaller YouTuber and uh, in hopes that some of the guys that are watching will go and help fulfill some of those subscriptions to those guys and help boost their channel. So if you're around on Thursday nights at nine o'clock local time, it would be great if you guys could tune into that and uh, we will leave a link in the description like I said so you can go over and uh, see what's going on. So I hope you're there. Hope to see you live. us at exactly 32 kilometers on this little trip. That's putting you pretty close to being uh, empty. You want to change your gas? You can stick to 33. I don't know, I think I just felt a little hesitation there. Should I put the brakes on? So as we come back onto the highway from exit 45 heading back towards town, we have exceeded my wife's 33 kilometers and uh, we'll see how far or how close to that we actually get and maybe we can actually get closer to 63 I guess. I've been wanting to do is do a fuel economy challenge where we fill a vehicle up, we drive a certain distance, and then we go back to the gas station, top it up again, see how much fuel we used over a certain distance, and then calculate the miles per gallon or liters per hundred kilometers. We will be doing another one of those challenges. We will be doing one of those challenges in the near future, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you haven't watched the very first Distance to Empty Challenge, we did that with my wife's Toyota Sienna van that had over 600,000 kilometers on it. I'll put a link right here so you guys can go back and watch that one. Once again, you'll be very surprised at the distance we went on that challenge. And right now we are at 39.7 kilometers on this little trip.
So as we come around the back side of Oak Bay and getting ready to head up St. David Ridge Hill, we are at 57.4 kilometers into this trip. So getting closer and closer to that magic number 63, which was my guess, by the way, in case I didn't say that a hundred times already. <laughs> oh, shoot. This, I must say, this drive is a heck of a lot more fun when you've got some company. Uh, because you're not just sitting here talking to the camera, you've actually got someone to interact with. So, so thanks for coming along, hun. You're welcome. We're at 59 kilometers. Well, there you have it, folks. We uh, just rolled over 63 kilometers, and we are still going. So. Oh, Muffet. <laughs> Somebody was wrong, too. Yeah, but like I said before, I'm still closer. We're talking about being closer. Oh, semantics. She's buffered now. And we just came under uh, exit 9 there on Route 3, so we're heading towards the border. And we'll go as far as we can to exit 4 and turn around if we have to. We got going on. Take second guesses. Where would you be? Uh, I'm gonna say 88. 88. And to me, I think that sounds realistic. You can't take my number, though. No, no. But are you gonna friggin' in the prices right? I was gonna say in the essence of prices right. <laughs> I'm going one dollar, Bob. <laughs> 87. Friggin' dirtbag. No, I was I was thinking 90. Okay. I was thinking okay. 90. So I'll take that. You said 88. Yep. I'm gonna say 90. Price is right. <laughs> Whose price is right and who? Did I just use price is right as a word? Yeah, I did. We're totally doing that. Yeah. Okay. I'll stop now. Okay. <laughs> passing the St. David Ridge exit to get back into town and that is where I first started to run out of fuel on the Kia Optima when I did that challenge. So we are well past that and heading back down St. David <laughs> Sign for I wish this thing would hurry up and run out of friggin' fuel. Anyways, at 79.3 again we're going back down St. David Ridge and around Oak Bay. Oh goody. Try it all over again. Oh boy. So in the essence of time and proximity to running out of gas, we're not going to go clear to exit 45 again. We're going to take exit 25 here at St. Andrews and swing back around. And as we approach 87.7 kilometers, things might be looking pretty good for my wife's uh, second guess there right now. So you're saying at 111? Yes. 
She's saying 111. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go a little bit lower this time. I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 108. See what happens. So we're at exit 25 again. Just getting ready to get back on the highway. Both of our guesses, our third guesses, were wrong. I had guessed 108, and my wife had guessed 111. We're now at 128.5, heading back towards town once again. Too many fishes in the stream. Down the boulevard of broken dreams. So. As we were coming up St. David Ridge, you were so right. Phil, I said, don't worry, honey, it's gonna run out of gas. And she says, that's what you said last time. So here we are on St. David Ridge Hill, and we are out of gas. So, put her in park. What is the grand total? The grand total is 133.2 kilometers. I was right. We're only off by a hundred K. Okay, so now that we're on the side of the road, we are going to get this thing filled up and back to town, and then we'll close out this video. So, what do you think? I want to go home. <laughs> Most whiny plant pants. These are fun videos to do. Yeah. You know what? It doesn't consist of World of Warcraft or crochet. I'm sorry. It's not that much fun. Such a nerd. <laughs> You're getting over, buddy. That's all she wrote, all over the side of the car. She's a linker. Gas can Lincoln. Lincoln. Made by Ford. <laughs> you don't like Ford? What am I for? Ford Fustang. There's going to be some people who watch this video that are going to get that. <laughs> it's gonna take all day, Mr. Carr. Your wife is cold. It's this friggin' Ford Jerry can. <laughs> Just like that, it now says with that five gallons that we put in, 127 kilometers to empty. I call BS because we just went 133 when it said it was empty. So, so there you have it guys, another distance to empty challenge in the books. I hope you really enjoyed this one on the 2012 Chrysler 200. Keep in mind that we will be doing more of these and we're actually going to be doing some fuel mileage challenges as well where we fill them up and calculate the fuel mileage. That will be a guess for you guys as well. So don't forget 
Old car auto guy hoodies and t-shirts are on sale. First link in the description box below. As I mentioned earlier, our live feed happens this week, tonight on uh, Straight Six Fans channel and his link is in the description box as well. So guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. We'll see you again in the next video.